Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. And before we start, I have to admit, I mm, did something pretty dumb and I broke my computer last week, so I lost my computer for a few days. It is fixed now, but I had to reinstall all my games and all my things on my computer. I started to record my franchise mode episode and um, yeah, my settings weren't right. So I have to do it over again with the episode. So I'm very sorry for that. We have this beautiful building by Nathanick, which we uh, saw in the last episode and it was just... <sighs> I love the building so much. You can download it from the collection list down below. So when I uh, recorded um, the episode, I did not upload again. Uh, I finished this elephant's habitat because on the other side, if you're new to the channel, is an African ha elephant habitat. And that looks just really amazing. Uh, so yeah, I, I do still have the speed build, only the audio wasn't right. So I'm going to start with that speed build and now we're going to do a new-ish episode and I'm going to show you guys around what we did during that speed build.
All right, so let me start with showing you guys what we did. We have this amazing viewing gallery made by Forumtastic. This one is absolutely fantastic. I really love what you did with the shape here. It looks really incredible. We have some really beautiful planters right over here. And the blueprint comes with these conservation signs and with like normal educational signs. You do have to put down your donation boxes yourself. And I extended it a little bit down right over here. And this blueprint just is amazing. I really, really love this. So we have a glimpse here of the first area of our African elephant habitat. So I raised this a little bit and for those that have seen my Malin Zoo series, which is my first and only so far sandbox series we did, um, we, we had a similar type of habitat. It was huge uh, with a lot of like rocks on the sides and like these raised things in the middle section to have a lot of green on. Actually, it is. Uh, it was inspired by a real life zoo, but I have no idea anymore what zoo it was. You have to look back that episode, I guess. I think Copenhagen, but I'm not entirely sure. And uh, this is actually made to to make sure that the elephants are not able to eat from the plants, I think. And the same is like with those logs, like to make sure that the elephants are not able to get to some places with those logs. So that's really, uh, really useful. Um, and I use this also for a little bit of privacy and also, yeah, to just make sure that um, you have like these... Uh, areas in the habitat that you still need to explore i guess so i think this works really really well oh yeah that's right we have sable antelopes in this uh this habitat now too you did not see that in the speed build um so yeah i did add the sable antelopes in this habitat because i really wanted to have another animal in the habitat too now there was someone that commented like well Honestly, you would not really see an uh, elephant in real life um, with another animal because it's pretty dangerous. Like if the elephants would get mad, like any smaller animal would be like, uh, yeah, hurt probably, maybe even killed by the elephants if it's really going bad. So you would not really see that in real life. But I don't know, there are so many people watching all over the world right now so if you know a zoo which has like an elephant habitat with like a combination with other animals i'm actually really curious to hear what type of animals are in that habitat too then do let me know in the comment section down below i'm just really curious about that uh so yeah as you can see this is the same viewing platform by formtastic because i really loved it i uh, wanted to have one on this side too and this one has like this more open view into the habitat, almost to the other side of it, which is really cool. We have a glimpse here of that beautiful building of Nathan Egg. And uh, well, yeah, the signs and stuff obviously speak for themselves. So we now have a connection here with the now monitor habitat. Uh, so yeah, this is all pretty much connected, which is really nice. But obviously we have to fill in a lot of the gaps still. So there's still a lot of work to do. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I wanted to have like an open space right over here. If you have a path going here, you're pretty sure that the elephants will be, or the elephants, the guests will be looking at the elephants in the, ha uh, in the habitat. So I wanted to avoid that. And uh, we can potentially add other animals in these open areas right over here. So that's why I was like, you know what, we're going to keep it open for now. Uh, so this one is also really, really cool. This um, viewing gallery is made by Andal and I, I just couldn't help it. There were a few of them. You guys did sell me a few viewing galleries uh, and I had to pick the best fitting for here. And this one is a more luxurious one. I don't know why I feel that way. I think that looks just amazing. So that's why I chose to have these two because they really fit this building. And this one is a little bit more further away. It still fits, but it's a little bit different. I, uh, I really, really love these ones. So thank you, Fantastic and Andal, for creating these beautiful viewing galleries, which you can also download. You can use them for each and every animal you want, obviously. And uh, I added these educational signs in here. And it comes along with these education signs, or conservation signs, and these are educational signs. 
and uh, yeah, it's just really amazing. So we have a look down here into the mud bath. Now the thing is, are you going to use that? Are you? Are you just gonna like, wait, you don't have this enrichment item, do you? I don't think so. Um, uh, I'm confused. Uh, but I had like these really cool enrichment items from Titan Pro. And you also had, oh wait, where is it? Here it is. There is a mud bath, a really cool mud bath, uh, like an African theme. But uh, unfortunately the elephants were not able to, to use it. So I had to delete it and just ha add this uh, normal mud bath again in. But really, there are really a lot of really cool um, uh, enrichment items here detailed in a little bit more African themed, well a lot more African themed actually. Uh, so yeah, you can download these ones yourself. I could not really use any of them because there are like a lot of foliage in here and um, my elephants are right at the maximum I think right now with what they want to have in their habitat. Is there any elephant right over here? Hello? They're so big. Oh yeah, talking about elephants, oh my gosh. So what you guys uh, may have seen in the previous episode, which I didn't, uh, you see this 31% already, unfortunately, in red. Uh, but what you, you guys maybe saw in the last episode was there was like this message on the left top and um, an elephant died. If you remember, we had a Aisha, she was called, I think, or Aiza. And uh, she was injured, and it was me to blame because she was um, uh, she was injured, and I did not check for a for a vet. I didn't call a vet. Um, so yeah, I felt really really bad to see her die, and I was like, oh my god, that was just seriously me to blame. I did that. I'm responsible for this because I just didn't call a vet. I was just like, oh yeah, I just hope a vet takes care of it, and I didn't call a vet. And then she died. So yeah, I had to buy another elephant <laughs> for our zoo. Um, but yeah, so that is just something uh, I really wanted to share with you guys. It was really, really a sad happening. Uh, so yeah, we have these viewing galleries, which look just really, really amazing. And also this viewing, make sure like you have some peek throughs over here and over there but still you have some privacy areas too for the animals and uh what are you doing here <laughs> i don't know um but yeah it's just it's just really beautiful i really really love it um i think it works really well with like these raised areas in the middle like obviously you have a little bit of green here and there um but not like too much and um yeah, I think it works. It's humongous, but I think it works. I think it's just amazing. Uh, so yeah, this is the viewing gallery, underwater viewing gallery we already had. I'm still really excited to see the animations of this. Maybe it's nothing even, and maybe they just walk underneath it, but I do hope they do take some kind of shower or anything. If anyone knows what those animations are, do let me know in the comment section down below. I'm super curious to hear more about that. Um, we don't have any zoo challenges. Uh, oh, ATMs. ATMs are actually a very good thing to uh, take care of. Well, we have one here. Can we just, like, pause the game? I think we already have one in this section, don't we? I, I, I think I remember. Can we have one here, maybe? Um, wait, if I put you here... And I'm gonna move you towards there, and I'm gonna move you so right in the corner, right over here. I I think that could work, and maybe we should add another one. I don't think we have a heat map for this, do we? I can't really remember that we do have one. Do we have a, what we have already? One here. Um, uh, maybe we should add one over here. We have another truck right over here pretty far away um maybe we should just add one squeeze you in on that side right over here we have some toilet salt water crocodiles oh my god yes that is so right 
We have babies. We have babies. We have a baby hippo. Look at this guy. He is so adorable. <gasps> we have another one. We have another one. Rudo and Olafemi. Olafemi, hi. Oh my goodness. You're so adorable. How are you? Oh my god. Look at that. Ah, oh, they're amazing. Oh my god. Keeper, go away. You're disturbing my viewing. Oh, look at these two. Isn't that just amazing? They're so cute, aren't they? Baby hippos are so adorable. Yes, you are. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. <laughs> and, oh yeah, of course I hear poop. Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> and we also have a baby saltwater crocodiles. So we have two females in here. I don't know where you are. Two females, and I added an extra feeding tray uh, because I was feeling like maybe we need one extra for these uh, cute little crocodiles. Well, they're not actually really cute. <laughs> they're like pretty freaky, actually. They do make like really cool sounds. Like you don't really hear those big ones making sounds, do they? I'm not really sure. I don't think so. They are really amazing. I really love it. Now we have at least two. Do our, uh, our saltwater crocodiles. Uh, no, not saltwater crocodiles. The now monitors. Do they already... Are they pregnant? Like the baby boom? You know? The thing? Not pregnant yet. Maybe they're not really a match. That could be. Nom nom. <laughs> oh, you're so heavy with your food, aren't you? They're really amazing. I really, really love it that we have some babies in here now, too. Uh, where are the now monitors again? I think they're here. Uh, let's see how much of a match they are. I'm not entirely sure. I want to just check. Compare mates. 55% uh, very low fertility. We don't really have a bonus, so I think we should take care of that. Wow, so many. Okay, now monitor. This, this should mean that we now have a bonus, don't don't we? Okay, let's have a look. We can put you on the sable antelope, and we can put you on the Mexican red meat tarantula. I did make sure that the other reptiles and stuff have their um, oh, how you call it, like those rocks and, and leaves and stuff in their exhibit. So that is all good for the ones that are researched now. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we have 70%. It's, we have 15% bonus. We can still go for a 30% bonus in a later stage. So that should be fine. But it's going to be scary because we are going to uh, get a lot of babies in. But who is escaping here? What? What? How did you come up here? After so many episodes, all of a sudden... You decide to just go and escape. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I'm going to put you in here. And it might only be this rock, actually. So hopefully we can just easily fix this. But isn't that weird? Like, we have been playing this, uh, this with this habitat for so long. And this is the first time a naughty, naughty, naughty hyena in this case is escaping like how just how are you still able to escape oh you're not oh you're also able to climb up here well that's not that bad as long as you can't escape i guess i think we're all good i think we're all good naughty 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 are you here <laughs> naughty naughty hyena but you're so adorable <laughs> They're so cool, aren't they? I love them. I love them. Uh, Niala is about to meet you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have warthogs. Naughty, naughty warthogs. And if I am right, 
We should have some baby warthogs. I think Pumba just became a daddy. Right, Pumba? <laughs> naughty, naughty Pumba became a daddy. Look at that. We have a bimbola. How many babies do we have in here now? Okay, both females. <laughs> they both got one baby only? All right, all right. Oh my god, a jury. A Jure and a Bimbola. You both. Oh, wait a second. Are you guys able to escape from this habitat? Yes, you are. Well, not exactly. We just need to make sure that we have like a rock. Oh, that one is already standing there. Are you kidding me? Okay, wait. We're going to move you. I, I, I did saw someone jumping in my in the corner of my eye, but I couldn't really tell. It didn't. I didn't realize it. But the only thing we need to do is just lower this one into the ground to make sure that that one is just not able to get in here. And then put down another one. I think this is already enough to uh, make sure they won't... Oh, that's right. We need to hide away the uh, mud bat a little bit in the uh, elephant's house or elephant's habitat, of course. Uh, habitat, plants, heart shelter is not enough. Yeah, that's because there are a lot of them in here right now. But I think 86% welfare. I think that is fine. And we have enough food, I hope, for them. Do we have another feeding tray? Is that the only one? Okay, we have two barrel feeders. Shall we just add another barrel feeder? What? <laughs> I can't remember that they make so much noise, those babies. Oh my gosh. All right, we're back at daytime because I can't stand it when it's nighttime. I should just adjust the times again, I guess. But oh my God, the noises these guys make. It's insane. I can't remember they did that. They're just amazing. I love these guys so much. They're so funny. They're really incredible. But actually, they have like two of these stables. It's actually a little bit weird. They're super small. But I guess it calculates like how much shelter they, they need per animal or something like that. Oh man, we have we have baby warthogs. I'm so happy they are here. That's amazing. Shall we just give one female contraceptives? Let's do that. Just just in case. Oh wait. Oh no, that just changed it. Yeah, that just changed because of me. Oh my god. Who is snoring? Oh wow. Oh, it sounds so weird. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this. I love this game so much. It's incredible. <laughs> Okay, so we have a facility that broke down. Uh, do we already have? Oh, the mechanic is already on it. Why don't we? Why do we worry about that? Uh, so we do have something really cool, actually. We have a vending machine covers by uh, Chrissy Age DZ. Uh, let's have a look if we can find them. A vending machine covers. I'm not really sure if I can. I can just put them down here, right? Okay. So these are really cool. So this is like for a single vending machine, like a small one. This is for two small ones. This is for one big one. And this is for one big one and one small one. So they are super useful. And I already put them down at the koalas. Where are the koalas? Yes, right over here. So we have these vending machines right over here. Look at that. How cool that looks. I think that just looks better than having um, than having them like without anything around it. Especially in like the open air like this. Like they're not even close to a shop. I think that just looks better. And we have the same on this side too. I think they work really, really well. They're incredible. So yeah, definitely go and find them if you are looking for some uh, vending machine covers. And uh, we can just cover up these now. So if we just copy paste that one, uh, I'm not really sure if they are close enough to each other, but we can try and see. Look at that. That's so cool. I, uh, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit completely, but that is probably my bad of how I put them down. 
and not Chrissy to blame, but it is okay because we can also use these ones. Can we just squeeze you in? The guests are in front of me. That's the issue. Yes, this works. Look at that. I think this works super well. Like it blends more into the surroundings. And obviously the guests can still use it. So we don't have to worry about that. And we can just hide that one away too. And also just add you. Boom, awesome, it works so well. Thank you so much, Chrissy, for creating these uh, vending machine cover-ups. I really do like them. We still do need some cover-ups for, um, how are they called again? The, um, the blah, 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 these type of things. So cover-ups or like, like barns or anything similar like we just saw like for these uh, transformer and water pipes and stuff i think that is something we could definitely use in our franchise suit vet research complete what do we have oh the african elephant oh that's great um yeah the rest is still ongoing i think that is fine i did release a few pronghorn antelopes because we had a lot of them in this habitat. I'm still um, debating these uh, glassy panels. Uh, at some point we will fix it. We will fix it at some point. Oh my God. We have a lot of babies in here and a lot of animals, but still it is a great habitat. It's such a pity and I got so stressed. Hop -a -dee hop hop, nom nom. <laughs> These animals are just spectacular. I really, really enjoy. Uh, I just enjoy looking around in our zoo, just making sure that everything runs smooth. I did ch do a checkup with, um, we had a message like that we had a lot of litter. So I did put down a lot of bins and stuff around the habitat, uh, around the zoo. Uh, to make sure that our litter problems are fixed. And all, also, we did hire a few more, um, what are they called? The caretakers. So we need to make sure that we do some more uh, training because we have some new ones in. We also have some new keepers in. So we need to make sure that we train those. And as soon as they are like maximum trained like the others, then they work really efficient and um, that is the way to go for. But obviously we have a few new members in our team that work in our zoo. So we have to make sure that they all get what they need. Uh, that research complete. You see, that's what because of them being like level five, it's going super fast. So let's have a look at the uh, iguana. We also getting babies at the... Uh, a bit of a blue tongue lizard on this side. I'm not really sure if they already are in. We really need to take care of. Oh, it's only one baby. Oh, oh, it's it is a female though. Oh shoot, I don't know which one it is. Young adult, young adult, adult. Uh, which one is the newest one? I'm not sure. Oh, that one is the newest one. Okay, so we're gonna give this one to contraceptives. No, we can just send this one to the training center can't we and then just uh quick trade it's not much but it is what it is but if they change this that could mean that we could add more animals in a reptile house right isn't that a thing does anyone know that did they change anything with i remember that you had like so many baby booms that it was just undoable to manage and that's why i always just have two females or two males or only one uh, of an animal in the exhibits because um yeah because of that so i'm not really sure actually if we can now um oh we have lights now too oh, brilliant um so yeah that's that's actually a good question do we need to cover up the back the bag looks super boring at the moment oh wait wrong side so it's that one if we make that 3d or 2d Hmm, not really sure. Not really sure. 3D. Let's go for 3D. I don't know. It looks a little bit boring for some reason. It looks a little bit finicky or a bit weird. Well, it looks pretty okay, actually, from here. I do really like this. I like that. I like that a lot. Awesome. 
Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of animals. Like for example, we have a female iguana in this habitat. So let's try and get another uh, lesser Antillean iguana in here. And uh, we need a male. So if we just send you to zoo. Okay, we're just gonna test it with a few. How, what animal is in here? So the gila monster, okay, there are two females in. Let's, let's keep two females in, okay? I don't want spiders, I don't like spiders. <laughs> I don't want any baby spiders in here. Uh, two male frogs, and what do we have here? Okay, let's go for a western um, diamond rattlesnake male. So we're gonna go down and we're going to find a male in here. Uh, a young one, and let's just put you in this habitat too. So we now have two, a male and a female in here. And what do we have here? I think yellow and a con. Yes. Okay. So we can. How many do we have? We can have another male in here too, and try to find. Oh, underneath. Okay, and a male. Okay. Well, perfect. And let's put you in here. Okay. We did it. We did it. We have more. Uh, more reptiles in this stuff, so that's gonna be exciting. God, I love this reptile house. You can also download this one. Like, obviously, I changed it a little bit myself, but it's just so good, isn't it? I am still hoping that our guests will at some point find their way in here, but I guess it's just too far of a walk and nothing else really spectacular. So, yeah, it's. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, did it mate? They mate. Oh no, my gosh. Are you pregnant? You did. Ah, uh, it didn't work. Do it again. <laughs> oh my god. I love these guys so much. They're so beautiful, but oh my god, the babies. Okay, I think it's good. We can still prepare for that baby boom that is coming our way. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. All right, all right. I'm sorry that this uh, episode is a little bit different than you're normally used to. In the next episode, we're going to really build again. Well, for me, it feels like a really build because this is the same day I'm recording actually two episodes. <laughs> but I do really love how this elephant habitat has turned out. And I'm super excited actually to see some baby elephants in here too. That is going to be super awesome. And this building, this building is just incredible. I, I still, I'm so amazed by it. I actually feel, that's right, I was thinking about that. So we have toilets right over here. I actually feel that we should maybe change one of these to more restaurant or drink shops. Maybe not, I don't know. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Are you stuck? Why are you sitting here? Unable to be moved? I think that one is stuck. Oh no, what was that? Alright, okay, we helped it. We helped it. <laughs> but no, this building is absolutely amazing. I think Nathan did such a great job. I, I'm really impressed by this habitat, building, shelter, restaurant. My goodness, that one's just incredible. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Do let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a Faith Fan member with the link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.